Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Filler, author of The Upright Ape, A New Origin of the Species, and I'm welcoming you to Hominiform Progression. You can see traveling along the vine, the preference is four limbs for the most part, rather than a free arm swing. Which you'll see later with the Siamangs, it's fairly dramatic. Here we go again. Quadramanual rope walking under the rope. Siamangs gibbons will sometimes just walk on top of the rope bipedal, something that humans can't really do because we don't have the grasping big toe anymore. And watching continuously over time, you get a sense of the percentage of time that these animals spend in a particular type of locomotion. Dominated by four-limbed activity, a little bit of standing, and as you'll see, a little bit of bipedal walking. So although a variety of different types of movement are used, you can say that certain types of walking, such as this fist walking, diagonal grade posture as I call it, is the dominant thing, and a little bit of bipedalism. Now the Siamangs. Some of this that you'll see with the arm swinging called ricochetal brachiation for obvious reasons. Ricochet from support to support. But when they're on the ground, they don't knuckle walk, they don't fist walk, they're bipedal. Now their arms are pretty long, so they can sometimes do some crutch walking up, and there's the Siamang babies, eight months old. They'll either be holding on to the mother's stomach, or the mother can fold up the knees and the hips so that the baby can sort of sit in her lap as she arm swings along, but despite the, all the G force and the ricochet traveling, the baby holds on tight. Now, Look at what he's doing. He's learning to walk. And for those of you that have little babies in the one year old time frame, one year age time frame, you'll recognize what's happening here. It's this little baby sign man is learning to walk like the grunts. Now he's got people to watch. He's also got uh, fist walking orangutans, but you'll never see him walking with his quadrupedally, uh, fist walking, knuckle walking, uh, Siamangs and Gibbons, just don't do that. It's also quite interesting that at eight months, as a small baby, this is really just uh, what he starts to do naturally learning to walk bipedally. It's an intrinsic motor program. Human baby is the same, same way. There they are with the orangutans. In most of the video you'll see the orangutans have been uh, shuffled out of the view, but uh, they get, they have the different groups get very protective of their youngsters and uh, some of the interactions are a little tense. So they tend to give the orangutans the uh, whole area in the morning, and the Siamangs get it in the afternoon. And so here's, here's the little guy learning, to, trying to do a little arm swinging too. Oop. Now, an eight month old Siamang baby walking bipedally, it's not just something odd that's happened for this individual in the zoo. John Flegel, 
primatologist in his uh, PhD thesis research observed eight-month-old Siamang, eight-month-old Siamang walking bipedally high in the tree canopy. There's another kind of thing that a Siamang or gibbon has to do, which is to transfer to small branches. And you see, they'll pull in the branches and get a better hold. Swing across to the main tree and then a somewhat dramatic descent. Now, one of the other things to watch uh, with both the uh, baby given and the adults is how their feet strike the ground. A big point has been made in anthropology about the bipedalism of some of the other hominiforms being organized so that they put their feet down on their the ball of their foot or on their toes whereas humans strike with the heel, heel strike by pedalism. But as we watch, and if you slow the video down and look at it frame by frame, um, about uh, half of the time, both the adults and the baby are using heel strike by pedalism, just like humans. And the striking thing is how natural and primary this is to them, particularly with the baby. They use it for general for any kind of walking around, play, um, up in the trees uh, when they're when they don't have uh, when they have I'm sorry up in the trees when they have larger supports they walk quite easily and certainly on the ground. Now, siamangs and the gibbons, the small Southeast Asian apes, which are primarily bipedal, are not arm swinging. Um, are the furthest away from modern humans among the various hominiform apes. So there could be an argument that the hylobatids evolved their bipedalism independently of us. And if you watch these two, you can see it's very, it's really their natural way of getting around. However, because we now have a series of fossils and we understand the biology of the spine, the evidence is quite strong that uh, this is the original ancient way of the common ancestor of movement.